Hi friends, welcome back to the Skateboard Club. My name is Chess and in this video I want to talk about the idea of unconditional love and how that fits in when we have narcissistic parents. Stay tuned. <laughs> friends, thanks for dropping by and spending a few minutes here. In this video I want to talk about the idea of unconditional love and I think it's something that we have in our society and this idea that there is this love that transcends everything. There can be a love between spouses, between parents and children that can never be broken. And for some of us, it's a spiritual belief. There can be an idea of unconditional love between a God or our gods. And it can be an idea that it, that unconditional love is something that, that connects all, all living things in the universe. And I also think that this un idea of, and I also see that this un idea of unconditional love can be used to underpin the idea that we have certain duties and obligations in certain relationships. So, as with a lot of my videos, this one might take a few twists and turns because I see this as actually a really complicated and complex subject. And on that note, I just want to take a pause and say thank you so much for your ongoing support and of myself and of this channel and of each other. I really want to speak directly to your grace in sometimes when I don't get my ideas across as well as I would love to and I waffle and I go off topic and I forget my words. I want to just take a pause on that and say, as a lot of us know who've had really difficult childhoods, it can affect our brains and mental health can really affect how we, how we process things and I'm still dealing with those things. I still have trouble with getting my thoughts together, being able to speak eloquently into the truth and in a logical order that makes sense to people. So thank you all very much as I continue to grow and as we continue to evolve this community together. It's such a privilege and an honor. <clears throat> so enough of all that, let's talk about the idea of unconditional love and really how it applies to narcissism and when we have narcissistic parents. And I'm sorry, I have a cat going absolutely bonkers in the background, so I'm sorry if you can hear him zooming around and squeaking. He's fine, he's just got a lot of energy today. So what I've experienced and what I've heard from a lot of people who have dealt with narcissists is there's we can have this idea and that we are we are told that there is this idea of unconditional love and almost like a family duty and it's the idea that we love people regardless of what they do and how we act what we say the thing with narcissists is that i find that they will weaponize this idea of unconditional love so my family said things to me like, almost like they've listed off all of the things that they don't like about me, all of the, my character flaws that they see, all of the things that I've done wrong, and how selfish I am, how awful I am, how, how <clears throat> not good enough I am. But they love me regardless. It's almost like they're portraying it like that they're rising above who I am and all my faults, and they are loving me anyway, because that's what loving parents do. It's like they are, I don't know, out there with their love, charity love almost. Like, we're gonna love you no matter what, Chess. No matter that you've made all these mistakes, we're still your loving parents and we will still stand by you. Oh, good for them. Sorry, the sarcasm comes out, I can't help it. <laughs> so that's how they portray this idea of unconditional love. And I think one of the, the challenges with that is that we do have this idea of unconditional love pervasive through our society, as I said. And the idea of unconditional love is a very, very comforting one. And it's a very, it's one that I think we all like the idea of. I don't know, I, I like the idea on some levels that there is this, 
that there is this idea that we can just have these bonds with people no matter what. I think then a lot of us, as we wake up to the idea of narcissism and we do our research, is that we find the idea that narcissistic love is conditional. I've seen a lot of that in, in a lot of YouTube videos, maybe like this one, and a lot of things I've read about narcissism is that narcissists are conditional with their love. And what that means is that they love people according to what they do for them, according to how they make the narcissist feel. And the narcissist weaponizes love. So it's like if we do what they want, if we do them a favor, if we if we say nice things, if we act in a certain way, if we perform to certain standards, then they love us. And if we don't do those things, then they don't love us. So that's the kind of the conditionality of a narcissist's love. Hope you guys are kind of with me with me so far on this on this because now I'm going to go a little off track here. I personally, and this is my opinion, I don't believe in unconditional love. I've thought about this carefully. I've been working as a therapist for a while now, and I cannot get my head around the idea of unconditional love. And let me talk through it because I actually think the idea is dangerous. I believe in something called unconditional positive regard. And for any of you who are therapists or have any therapeutic training or are familiar with a, um, a psychologist called Carl Rogers, this is really central to his teachings. The idea that we as therapists and as really as other human beings in the world, we support each other with this unconditional regard for another person. So regardless of what they've done, we see that there's a common element of being alive, a common element of humanity, and there's this idea that we have some commonalities and that within everybody, within every human, there is somebody who is worthy of merit, merit and someone who is worthy of respect and someone who is worthy of kindness. I agree with that. I do agree that that is this. So this idea of being that everybody deserves a level of decency. I agree with that. What I disagree with is the idea that love, we love each other no matter what. I just, I don't buy it and I think it's unsafe. And here's why. When we love somebody else, we do it because of how they make us feel. We do it because they make us feel safe, because we enjoy their company, because we have things in common. It's a response to how someone else makes us feel. So to me, it has a condition on it. Love is our connection with somebody else. When we're born, when we have family members, it's natural that we have that that love because we're programmed that way. That's like a biological love. And it's something that is innate for all of us. And so there is this part of us that we are programmed to love, love our, love our parents, love our caregivers, love the people around us. Again, that kind of ties into this unconditional regard that and I think we want to love those people close to us. And ultimately, there's also, I see that there's almost like a biological need to try and love our parents because we rely on them. We need to tell ourselves that we love them. We need to love them so that they will look after us. Again, for me, that's kind of conditional. I hope you guys are with me and you see where I'm going. It's a little subtle, but if you're this far, then I hope that we're doing okay. So for me, love is not unconditional. Love always has conditions. And so this idea that it's unconditional just doesn't sit with me. 
where I think it's really important then is when we're dealing with narcissistic people is being aware of what love of it's being aware of what conditions we need for our love and that's where I think the narcissistic conditions differ from the healthier relationship conditions the healthy love right narcissists base their love on what can you do for me how do you make me feel what what money can you give me sometimes you know it can be very very specific and tangible and and very black and white in terms of what the narcissist wants and needs i think healthy conditions on love is how do you make me feel do i feel safe around you do i enjoy your company is it is it an equal and supportive relationship for me do i feel that that we can share when we both have successes and we both have failures are do the same rules apply to you as they do to me those are the kind of the conditions that i think that go into a healthy love and i think that that is the difference that we have what I'm going to call healthy conditions and we don't have these narcissistic conditions on our love. So friends, I'm going to I'm going to take a pause there because I think that's good for this video and I'm really interested to hear what you think. And do you think that love is unconditional? Do you think that unconditional love is healthy? Tell me. Tell me what you think because uh, this is this is on my mind and I think it's really interesting and I would love to know what your thoughts are. And friends, please be safe out there and whatever you're dealing with, I hope that even if you do think there's such a thing as unconditional love, I hope that you will see that being in an abusive and a toxic and an unsafe relationship has to overrule the idea sometimes that we have to love and we should love and we must love. We need to look after ourselves first. For me and my beautiful spring flowers and my crazy cats, bye for now. Mm -hmm.